Facts tell, stories sell. What's up guys, my name is Nick Arapkulis from MentorWithNick.com and today we're gonna to talk about storytelling and why, why it's important, okay? But before we do get started, I'll actually wanna tell you a quick little story. Uh, before I started my online business, actually it wasn't even before, it was kinda of while I was starting my online business, I was work, still working a regular, a regular job and it wasn't really tip based but every once in a while we got some tips okay but it was it was a rarity but I, I bought this course it was all about storytelling and I'm gonna get into details on what the stuff that I learned from it but right after I, I bought this course and I went through it I took notes and I started understanding a little bit and then I'm like hey what the heck let me try this out see what happens during my job and so I started telling this lady this story and uh, I kind of had it predetermined before I, I talked to her and you know it was this whole story about you know giving back karma and all this type of stuff and at the end of our kind of exchange she said well I certainly need more karma in my life here's twenty dollars and she gave me a twenty dollar bill and I thought that was so powerful right then and there because I just it made me realize how powerful stories are because you know I I could have gone the different route where I kind of like hinted at getting a getting a tip or or saying hey tips are appreciated or anything like that where I was kind of forcing it on her but instead I just told a story and she came to the conclusion herself that she wanted to give me a tip that's powerful, right? So that's the whole idea behind storytelling. You're not really telling stories to be an uh, entertaining person. You're not telling it just to be uh, that guy or that gal. Uh, you're really telling stories in a way to get your point across and to get whatever you want out of that exchange. And usually if you have an online business or you're selling or really anything in life, if you're trying to get a girlfriend or you're trying to uh, get that deal or whatever it is, you want to get that yes. And you want to do it in a way that's non-pressure, you're not pushing, rather, that, rather you are pulling. So there's a three-step formula for for storytelling. So the first part is getting their attention. You always have to have attention in any type of communication. So a great way to actually get people's attention is to ask them a question. And see, in my story, uh, my question to this lady was like, do you believe in karma or, or something to that, uh, to that fact? And then she said, oh yeah, well kinda. So then I had her attention right there. Next, you go into your story. Now you have to kind of predetermine, you know, what exactly is the outcome of the story. You know, whether that is in your sales copy or is in your, or your sales presentation or, or really whatever it is that you're doing, you have to know your, the outcome that you want to have. And then you have to wrap a story around it. Now obviously the more entertaining, the more uh, charisma, or charismatic you can be, in, it's, it's gonna help even more. So that's the second part. But then you want to engage them even further on the third step. So I, you know, basically the story that I, I, I told this lady was, I was like, first I was like, hey, do you believe in karma? And then I told her a story about how I was doing some good deeds, didn't really expect anything in return. And then I, I got something, you know, 10 times in return because of it. And then my last question to engage her even more was, hey, have you ever had anything like that happen to you? So you're re-engaging them back into the story. So that's the three step formula to really get a solid story across so that you can get your point across so that you can get the outcome that you're looking for in that exchange. Now to just uh, illustrate this a little bit further, I do a lot of Facebook posts in story format. And the reason that we do this, the whole idea behind stories as well, in addition to get people, uh, you know, the whole idea about inception where it's like their idea, but at the same time, when you, do, when you tell stories, it gets people emotionally involved. And especially if you're selling something, especially if you're selling a product, a service, or just selling yourself, people make decisions a lot more based on emotions rather than logistics or, yeah, logical reasoning. So that's why you want to share stories because when you can get people wrapped up in your story, they can get emotionally involved, they get drawn in, 
then they're so much more likely to take that next step, whatever it is that you're trying to get across. So if you are trying to get a yes from somebody, no matter what type of yes that is, it's sales or whatever it is, definitely start implementing stories into your life and you're gonna get 10 times the results if you consistently do this, consistently learn, use the three-step formula and you're gonna be golden. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that gave you a lot of value. Make sure you out, go out there and implement this stuff and whatever it is you're trying to do, whether that's just a simple little job like I did or you're selling from stage or whatever it is, uh, you definitely can implement stories more into your life, into your business, whatever it is, and get a lot better results. So make sure and share this type of stuff or make sure and share this video if you think other people can get some value out of it. Smash that subscribe button and hit that like button if you did. All right guys, thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.